So far in these spooky comic book recommendations, we've been covering mostly classical monsters, things that go bump in the night and hunt you down. But these days, it's harder to scare you kids. Back in my day, you just need a guy in a rubber suit and baby you got yourself a monster. But these days, horror has changed. Now it's the things that you can't really fight against. Sometimes the scariest things that you can read about these days are things that don't even have a physical form, they exist simply as thoughts, simply as ideas. That's where one of the best recent horror series I've ever read comes into play, Mimetic. I'm going to be honest with you guys, I'm going to keep this episode kind of short because A, I've already talked about this book before, but also because this is one of those books where I don't want to spoil anything for you. Part of the pleasure of reading this book comes from watching everything unfold. So I'll just start by saying that this book stars two protagonists, a colorblind college student and a blind ex-general. Both of them are living their lives perfectly normal until one morning when they wake up to see that a new meme has suddenly taken the world by storm. It's just a picture of a sloth given a thumbs up. That's it. Nothing more. However, the world loves it. They think it's the greatest thing they've ever seen and they can't wait to share it, reblog it, send it to their friends and co-workers. Within hours, the President of the United States is even being asked if he's seen it. Everyone says it's amazing. It makes them feel good just looking at it. Except for the general who can't see it to begin with and the colorblind college student who just shrugs and goes, yeah, I don't get it. I don't understand what you all see in this. I don't understand why you're all freaking out about this. And they are indeed freaking out about. They talk about like it's a religious experience. This obsession grows and grows until 12 hours after it popped up on the internet when... Well, I'm not going to say anymore. Let's just say that things go downhill and they go downhill fast. And as time goes along, the world gets worse and worse. And as one of our heroes struggles to just survive, the other one tries to find a way to stop it all. All of this keeps building until it reaches one of the most horrifying endings I've ever read in a comic. After the end of the first issue, I actually had to remind myself this was just a book. And after the end of the last issue, I just sat there, feeling drained. It left me more freaked out than anything I've read in years. So freaked out, I didn't even know how to respond to it. I just had to walk it off. The level of disturbing that this goes to is almost like if The Walking Dead was being written by Lovecraft. Lovecraft on acid. And this all comes from the brilliantly demented mind of James Tinian, and if you read his Constantine Hellblazer series, you know that is a guy who knows the supernatural and the macabre like the back of his hand. But also, he's the guy who's currently writing detective comics, and I've said this numerous times before on this channel, that might be my favorite DC comic out there. And many of you share my opinion on that. I have seen the love that that book has been getting, and it is well deserved. So if you have been a fan of his work over at DC, and you're one of those people who loves creepy posters or other disturbing internet rumors, this is the book for you. Hope you enjoyed this recommendation. If you want to see more spooky recommendations from the world of comics, games, and movies, then make sure to click that subscribe button and follow me on Twitter and Tumblr because we're going to be doing this every single day until the 31st. So come back next time, and as always, Happy Halloween.